Hi, welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. This video will lead us to the demo of enabling data integrity protection in regenerating coding based cloud storage theory and implementation. The security of the data in cloud is very important. Fault tolerant and the integrity checking of data is difficult. Fault tolerance by divide the data in multiple server is done by the regenerating codes. Data integrity protection scheme is used for core regeneration. It preserves the fault tolerance and repair traffic saving. The data integrity protection enables the client to verify the integrity of the outsourced data. It allows different parameters for performance security trade-off. First of all, client need to store the data in cloud so that the client have to be select the data then the data selected by the client is uploaded into the cloud the cloud service provider is called as a cloud in cloud service provider the data is splitted this splitting is very important for security purpose if the data is not splitted means then the security of the data is very low so that only data splitting is very important in cloud service provider after splitting the data the data integrity protection is very important data integrity protection means checking the integrity of the data checking the integrity means if someone modifies the data means that is find out by using the integrity method for data integrity the mac algorithm is used mac algorithm means message authentication code it is used to create the code for a particular data that is selected by the client after generating the message authentication code the failure server have to be find out the data is stored in multiple servers among that if any of the server is deleted means we have to find out the failure server because the failure server contains the lot of data that related to client so we have to retrieve the data from the failure server so that the failure server is need to be find out for that fmsr is a technique used to retrieve the data from other servers the client get the data that stored in the failed server is stored in another servers so retrieving the data from related servers and combine it in to form the data that deleted in failed server using this method we can retrieve the data after retrieving the data from failed server and also the other related servers we have to combine it and then we check the integrity of the data the integrity checking is confirmed here if the data stored in servers is any if any one of the data is modified in server means then the integrity checking will show that the data is modified otherwise if we have the same code means then the integrity of the data is confirmed then the confirmed data is provided to the client let us see the running procedure of the project first of all run homepage.java just click this page then here the user have to select the data that press the select button the file name of the data is displayed here and then the location of the selected data is displayed here the format of the data is shown in this text field and then the size of the data is shown here if you press the view button means then the data that is stored in that file is then press up now run trusted authority dot java press the receive button then the data is received from the client now press the split button this is used to split the data now press split now the data are split into four parts this is part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 now press share this share button is used to share the data together with each server each servers share their data by using this share button and press next it is the server one page in this server one if you press one content means then the content present in server one is displayed and then press other contents here it shows the other contents that is related to other servers are shown here and press next here the own contents show that the data stored in server 2 and then the other contents that displays the data that related to other servers that is the server 1 server 3 and server 4 and press next
now the server 3 also has the own content and the other contents the own content is the own data of the server 3 and then the other content shows the data that related to remaining servers now press next it is the server 4 it also contains the own content the own content is the data of the server 4 and then the other contents are the data that related to remaining servers that is the server 1 2 and 3 now press next now we have to generate the message authentication code that is the mac for server 1 now press get now the message authentication code is displayed this message authentication code is generated for server 1 and press save now this code is stored in the database and then generate the message authentication code for server 2 and save the code and generate the message authentication code for server 3 and save the code then generate the message authentication code for server 4 and press save button now there are four message authentication codes are generated for each server and stored into our database now press next now if you press the status button means if if the server 1 is present at this moment means then it shows that it will be it shows that connector now press status if the server 2 is also presented means then it shows the connector now we have to delete one server now we are going to delete the server 3 now press status now the server 3 is deleted so that it shows the failed now get the status of server 4 it is present so that it shows connected next to retrieve the data that stored in the server 3 by using the other servers so that is server 1 server 2 and server 4 now press retrieve data these are the three contents that present in other servers that is this is the content that present in server 1 it is the content present in server 2 it is the content present in server 4 now press next now if you press the combined data means the data get from the server 1 server 2 and server 4 are combined and then we have to generate the measure authentication code for this combined data then only we can confirm the integrity of the data for confirming the integrity of the data press integrity checking now there is no modification is done in the combined data so that it shows the con integrity confirmed if any modifications have done in combined data means then it shows integrity not confirmed message now press graph it shows the comparison graph